recently made a dish where it required some bacon, and I didn't want to fry up some bacon, so I bought some bacon bits. And there's really no problem with that. I mean, who wants to open a whole package of bacon just to fry a strip or two so you can have it for an additional ingredient in a dish? I mean, you can if you want to, obviously. This is real bacon bits, real bacon bits, not the imitation stuff. And you're going to get the same bacon flavor with the real bacon bits or, or chopped bacon as you will with the regular stuff, the fresh stuff. And it's a little more expensive, but it really is worth the convenience. But don't ever, 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 if you can help it, buy those imitation baking bits because that's what they are, imitation and they taste terrible as far as I'm concerned personally. But you can find so many different varieties of chopped bacon and bacon bits in the store. Some of them are smoked, some of them have some different flavor profiles to them and they're very easy to use and always good to have on hand. One thing though, when you open a package, you don't use them all, make sure you store it uh, tightly enclosed in the refrigerator. Nothing wrong with using real bacon bits in your recipe.